Roads Authority. Yes, very good morning, well, thank Ivan. you very much, Ramya Wusiku. I am coming to you from the old Entebbe Road, which is a stretch from Kivuye, Teruka Jansi, Kauku, up to Entebbe. And of course, UNRWA has taken it upon itself to reconstruct this road. We know very well that uh, when the expressway plans were laid, that from January, uh, the motorists will be paying for it. Also, UNRWA, and let me say government, has taken an initiative, has taken it upon itself to see that they also reconstruct this road here. And apparently, the motorists who are coming from Kampala to Entebbe, and those from Entebbe to Kampala, should expect a bit of some delay because such a section like where I am, there is a, a single and half of the road has been closed off, and so motorists are using a single one, so they should expect some delay for about only five minutes. But of course, from the past, Last we've seen uh, some complaints, especially in Entebbe, uh, when locals are uh, accusing UNRWA of delayed, you know, uh, construction ones. One of the roads being constructed in the area is the Kitara uh, Garuga Gireng Road, which has taken ages. Some complaints coming through. People are saying, you know, we are tired of that. Last time we saw a strike coming up and people protesting, saying that, you know, that was, UNRWA needed to do something. There was a lot of dust. The machines were there, the water boozers, but they were not doing enough. So all people who were having businesses along that road were still complaining. Up to this time, they still say, even if the road is still under construction, but there is delay. Some people even saying the sections which even looked complete now have potholes, and they do not know when the project will be completed. But of course, this beautiful morning, I am joined by the media manager for UNRWA, Alan Sempewa, to just give us an update on how this road, uh, this, you know, construction works will take. How long will they take and what should locals in the area expect? Why did they take the initiative to also reconstruct this road? Good morning and welcome to NTV. Good morning, Ivan. How are you today? Yeah, we are seeing, you know, some construction works on mm, this road that mm, we know. Mm. When is the project ending and mm. why did you take an initiative to start it? Mm. Thank you so much. Now, what we, you're seeing right now are uh, repairs on the old interior road stretching from Pala all the way to Chibuye. Now, the road, of course, as you may have noticed, it has deteriorated in some sections, in some areas when it floods, you know, the road is actually cut off. So government is saying, let us actually make efforts to rehabilitate this road or reconstruct. You know, what is going to happen is we're going to lay an asphalt overlay, remove this uh, tired pavement structure and lay another overlay. But also we're going to work on the side drains and uh, access culverts because some of them have existed for long and they probably can't uh, channel off water or off the road. In some areas like Bata Bata, Zana, we're going to actually create big box culverts. We're going and actually that's one of the areas that used to flood when yes. it rains. Yes, so that will be history with this kind of uh, intervention. We also think that, uh, as you may know, the operations on the Kampala Interb Expressway are starting uh, January 2022. And uh, in the Roads Act 2019, uh, government is mandated to provide uh, a, a reliable uh, connectivity or alternative for those who will not be able to, to pay for the uh, Kampala Interb Expressway. So this is actually what we are doing. So this intervention is in a way a timely intervention. Uh, uh, Yundra, uh, 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 let me say, Alan, People have complained yes. on the completion time, the, the deadline that you give yourself to finish. Yes. The, are we not going to see this take more than 10, 15 years? Uh, we pray it doesn't. We sometimes get uh, constrained by finances. For example, uh, uh, you know, government has had a number of uh, priorities, especially during this period, the COVID period. Uh, a lot of uh, attention is put on several other sectors of the economy. Uh, and, but likewise, this must also must also thrive and move. So we have we have setbacks sometimes in the financial uh, affairs. But are, 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 you, push. Are, are you also expanding it where we'll see perhaps you, ex, you have to you know compensate some people? Uh, no, along this road we don't expect to compensate. We will work with the existing uh, carriageway or, 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 or right of way. In some areas we will be working on accesses so that uh, the silt does not again come back to destroy our pavement or the asphalt overlay we may have laid on this road. The biggest complaint mm. in Katabi Town Council is you working on the Garuga Road. Mm. That you've taken ages, you've mm. taken years to mm. complete the road. Mm. People are tired of dust. Mm, yeah. Why did you decide to start on something you do not want to complete? <laughs> Thank you so much. First of all, when we start on something, it's not that we actually want to stay there forever. It also counts back on us. <laughs> our efficiency is at test. You know, our competences are at test. A lot of, even a reputation is at stake. 
So we definitely want to get in an area and complete. But there are some challenges uh, because this is, a, first of all, an in-house project, uh, construction project, which we said, okay, let us see, test our competences and be able to do some of these uh, small roads we, 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 with our own uh, equipment and, and staff and also employ locals around the place. Uh, however, when we started, we again uh, were bogged down by finances. So the money has not been coming. Because if it actually we, we had all the money that we need, uh, we'll be able to move. Right now we have about, uh, we need about 6.9 billion, to, including debts, payment of debts and the civil works to complete this road. And it will be done. So the money has not been coming as uh, readily as we had, uh, had anticipated, and that is why you're seeing that delay. Yeah, yeah, Alan, the locals who have businesses along the Garuga way still have a challenge. They say, you promise that you have water boozers, you'll be, you know, uh, pouring water on the road, so that the dust does not affect their eats being sold on the road. But that's not what you're doing. We've well, we seen numerous protests. What assurance can they get from you this morning? We want to give our, our, our people there in Katavi and all the, 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 the users of Kitara Gerenge Road that we are, we are trying to push. We're trying to push. Uh, uh, they've seen us work actually in the past. We've actually had these bowsers deployed uh, regularly watering the road to ensure that dust is actually minimized. But uh, we've uh, had setbacks in finances. However, we, we are not settled. We are not settled as well. <laughs> it is uh, upon us and we must push to ensure that that road is actually completed as soon as possible. Yeah, their question is, when are you going to put off your hands mm. on that road so that it's, it, it, it becomes usable? Yes. Uh, I, I will give you, a, I won't call it vague, but uh, when I say very soon, it is what we are working up to, trying to ensure that we also get off the road. It is telephone. in our best Sound interest telephone. as well to leave that road, to work and actually finish, because it, okay. it counts back on our performance. So we don't want to sit back and see a road we started not getting complete. Okay, so we want to make sure that we actually move as fast as possible. We've made That's progress right. in paying uh, some of our suppliers, some of the workers, but we haven't fully made all the payments because uh, we've been uh, had the setbacks in finances. But as soon as the money monies are released, we'll move, we'll move and finish the road. Well, for time purposes, Alan, we'll leave it there. But thank you for talking to us. Uh, pleasure. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much for the call as well. That came uh, thank you. Yeah. Alan Sempewa is the media manager uh, for UNRWA, just speaking to us this morning, of course, just on the projects that uh, UNRWA is undertaking in the area the Kitara Gerenge uh, Garuga Road, which has taken ages, but he has given a clarification. But also the old Entebbe Road, just like you can see also some reconstruction works being undertaken. And like I earlier said, the motorists who are using Entebbe uh, Road, the old one should expect some delay, but not for so long. About three, five minutes, because half road has been closed. But now Morning at NTV will leave here and return to the studios. Rami Very good morning to you and our audience. Well, thank you.